Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brains and bodies into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about Wanda staircase work. This is great to do at home, but also when you're traveling, there's always a staircase, right? So this is some really, really good work to help to strengthen your legs and all your posture muscles, and you can just do it for a minute or two. So what I like to do is just imagine I'm on the Wanda chair, and if you want a really hard, challenging workout, you can go up two stairs, but today I'm just going to go up one stair. So I'm going to be working in a parallel leg and foot, so I want to check out my foot and my leg alignment. Here, if you're really advanced and you're warmed up, you don't have to use, of course, the railing. It's going to be much more advanced. You can have your genie arms and do it right here. Um, but to warm up, you definitely want to use the railing and then rise up on your back foot. And then all the power is going to come from your front foot. So you can shift the front ankle forward a little bit. So the center of the knee goes towards the second toe. And then from there, really step into the foot, find your inner thigh, and slowly, slowly lift up. Like you're pulling your ballet tight all the way to the top of your hip. Now, the most important part of this is the coming down. And can you stay organized? Can you stay organized in your pelvis and your spine and go at the same rate, slowly, throughout the whole movement as you go down? And you're still standing in your foot, you're still drawing your upper inner thighs in. Good, and once you have the floor, just rolling through the foot. All right, and you can do tons and tons of different variations with that. For example, you do the same thing coming up. So you lunge a little bit forward, keeping your tall spine, reach into the foot, and at the same time as you lift the back heel, think about drawing your upper inner thigh in. You can be lighter on the hand the more repetitions you do. Now to intensify this, I'm gonna do halfway down, very slowly, really paying attention to my foot and my leg alignment, and then slowly bringing it up. If I want to intensify it even more, I'm going to bend a little bit lower, and maybe I'm going to let go of the railing. Finding my feet and my leg again, slowly lifting up. And then of course to come down, pay attention to how you're coming down, just don't slam the foot down. Really try to work and communicate with gravity. Slowly, slowly find the floor, and then roll through the foot. All right. Another great combination here is the turned out position. So here with both legs turned out, finding your upright spine, sitting bones wide. Again here, using the railing, and I like to use the underhand grip here. So I'm going to go up onto the ball of my right foot. I'm stepping into the whole surface of my left foot. I'm again bringing my knee towards that second toe finding my center line, and then I'm going to pull up my ballet tight on my left leg all the way to my hip, right? So I'm feeling a lot of muscular energy in this left leg. And then slowly and at the same rate, keeping my tall spine, keep growing through the crown of my head, lightly touch the floor, and then slowly roll through the foot. All right, and here, you know, you can add in your side stretches, your rotations, in between the repetitions. That's it for today. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site.